Zaid is just like any other German Shepherd pup. He loves playing fetch, chewing on anything he can get his paws on, but his owners, Lainey Wilson and Grayson Dyer, say he's their little miracle. His mom was shot and was killed, but he was still alive when they found him. A couple of folks riding ATVs through the woods stumbled upon Zaid curled up next to his mother. Not knowing if they were alive, they immediately reached out to East Alabama Humane Society. He had no hair. Um, he was full of mange, sarcoptic mange, actually, and um, just he couldn't walk, he was so weak, he was skin and bones, and he was just in, I didn't know if he was going to live or die. East Alabama Humane Society is a no-kill shelter that promotes saving lives of many unwanted animals. East Alabama Humane Society take in around 450 to 500 animals annually. Zaid is just one of 205 animals to come through this shelter this year. When Zaid arrived to East Alabama Humane Society, Harrelson says she knew his recovery would be a long process. He was shot in the ear, actually. It was right above his ear. It went through his eardrum and out his neck. It took him a while to learn how to walk. And when he did, he walked in circles because he had a ruptured eardrum. He had an abscess also in his ear that ruptured. Harrison says there aren't any leads as to who could have done this, but Zaid is just one of many animals the shelter helps rehabilitate that suffers from animal cruelty. Some sick people in this world. That's a, it's a huge pet peeve. I just, you know, it's, it's hard to, hard to stomach what, what he went through. The East Alabama Humane Society staff documented Zaid's journey to recovery on their Facebook page. The pictures they posted were just, I mean, I, I didn't know horrific. what to say. I mean, they were horrific. Wilson says she shared the post with Dyer and they immediately felt drawn to him. The fact that he was still a puppy and was still kicking and we were hoping that he'd make it through it so we could get him. The underdog story. The young couple visited Zaid at the shelter during his recovery and was able to take him home a month ago. They say he is a great addition to their family and he's helping them learn new things such as sign language. Because he is deaf, they are using it as a way to train him. You know, whatever it takes to make his life the best life he can have. Mm -hmm. you know, to make sure he's healthy, to make sure he has everything he needs, everything he wants. Um, you know, that was uh, something we decided together that, hey, I mean, we're, we're in it for the long haul. You know, whatever it takes, no matter what it is. In Columbus, Georgia, Angelicia Bruton, WRBL News 3, on your side.